Hey guys, welcome to another video and today's question is, let x be a standard normal random variable, then the probability xq minus 2x square minus x plus 2 is greater than 0 equals to twice of 5 1 minus 1, 1 minus 5 2, 2 times 5 1 minus 5 2 uh, or is it 5 2 minus 5 1. So few things that you need to recall out here. Standard normal distribution, basically, what we call Z, is normal distribution with parameter mu 0 and sigma square 1. It's a bell-shaped distribution. It's symmetric around 0. Okay. Now, the probability, well, it's, it's commonly known as Z, but here they have given it. In the question as x, a random variable could be named as, you know, x, y, capital letter, any capital letter could be given, right? Now, probability, x is less than or equal to x. What, what does this basically tell you? It tells you the CDF of the random variable x, right? Which we call capital FXX. And that in case of Standard normal random variable, that in case of standard normal variable is generally called phi. It is phi, the notation that you can see is basically CDF of standard normal. Okay. So in the options, wherever you can see phi, that is basically telling you probability x is less than or equal to whatever value is given there. Okay. So we have to concentrate on figuring out the probability that x cubed minus 2x square minus x plus 2 is greater than 0. What is this probability? Now for this, I need to know what kind of x's will satisfy this equation inequality. So x cubed minus 2x square minus x plus 2. Let's just concentrate on this. I think I can take x square common easily. And I'll get x minus 2 here. If I take minus 1 here, I will take get x minus 2 here. So that means this is factoring out as x square minus 1 into x minus 2. So I require x square minus 1 into x minus 2, the product of these two factors as positive, greater than 0. Now, when is this possible? The product of two factors is possible greater than 0 in case both are positive or both are negative, right? So x square minus 1 greater than 0, x minus 2 also greater than 0 at the same time or else x square minus 1 is less than 0 and at the same time x minus 2 is less than 0. So let's calculate this. This means x square is greater than 1 and x is greater than 2. From here I will get that x is either greater than 1 or x is less than minus 1. In both the conditions, this will get satisfied. And simultaneously, x has to be greater than 2. So from here, the common part that you will get is x greater than 2, right? Now here, x square less than 1, x less than 2 simultaneously. Now x square less than 1 means that x has to be between minus 1 and 1. And x is less than 2. So, simultaneously, both the conditions will get satisfied when x is between minus 1 and 1 because x is less than 2, right? That's automatically getting satisfied. So, we have two scenarios. So, what is happening is probability x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2 is greater than 0 is same as saying Either x is between minus 1 and 1 or x is greater than 2, right? Either this is happening or this is happening. That means it will be the sum of the probability that x is between minus 1 and 1 and x is greater than 2, right? Of course, there's no intersection between the two. So, what will this turn out to be? This will be probability x is, so always remember in continuous random variables, 
if you want to find out probability between A and B, it will be area till B minus area till A, right? So X is less than 1 minus probability X is less than minus 1 plus now we want every expression in terms of CDF. So I can convert this to 1 minus probability X is less than or equal to 2, right? So you can convert probability X is greater than 2 as Now, standard, symmetric, standard normal is symmetric around 0, something of this sort. So, it's symmetric around 0. So, what do you mean by this symmetricity? It basically means that if 1 is here and minus 1 is here, the area on the right of 1 is same as the area on the left of minus 1. Now, in your options, can you see minus 1 anywhere? No, I can see 1 and 2, but not minus 1. So, let's try to write everything in terms of 1 and 2. So, this clearly is phi of 1, right? Minus probability x is less than minus 1. That is this. Well, this is same as probability x is greater than 1, right? This is same as probability x is greater than 1 plus 1 minus pi 2 because that already we have a CDF. Now this becomes phi 1 minus, I can write this down as 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to 1 plus I have 1 minus pi 2. So this turns out to be phi 1 minus 1 plus again phi 1, plus 1, minus phi 2. So 1 and 1 cancels as you can see here. It will cancel. And what are we left with? We are left with twice of phi of 1 minus phi 2. Do we have any such option available? Twice of phi of 1 minus phi 2. Yes, the option is there. It is C option and that should be the correct option. So this is one of those questions wherein you really don't require any table or anything for normal. You don't require any table. You don't need to remember any values. It just logically you need to deduce what this probability will turn out to be. Thank you very much. I hope with this you will be able to you know revise on your standard normal distribution, normal distribution and also for that matter inequalities. Thank you.